Alright guys, what is going on? It's Clutch Hobo, and we're back with another video. This is the final setup video that I was telling you guys about in my last one. Now, <clears throat> you gotta understand, I'm really proud of this setup. It's been added to for probably three years now at least. And it took a lot to get here. Now, I know a lot of people don't have a setup like this, and it's something that I don't, I'm just really proud of. I've bought stuff for years now and added to it, and it's been a blast just making this setup. So for you guys seeing this, you might think and it's kind of dumb, it's not very cool or whatever, but I don't know. I'm really proud of it. I'm glad that I can have this thing and wake up every day and sit down at this setup and play. It makes things a lot easier, and I don't know. It's just a cool environment now in my room. So anyways, guys, I'm just going to... I hope you like that little short video that I sent at the beginning of this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the setup show you guys all the main things that I have on it So let's just get right into it guys All right, so first I'm gonna start off with the monitors here And now this is one thing that if I could change it I would but it's not a big deal So I'm not going to but uh, If you guys are ever gonna make a setup like this Probably get the same three monitors <laughs> Now I wish I would have done that, but I didn't so I mean it's whatever. It's not a big deal but I got two Asus's right here, the one in the middle. That's my best monitor right here, so I use this for my PS4 to play on. And then I got this Asus. This is the one that you probably saw in the affordable setup video. And like I said, me and my dad were going to build stands for everything. As you can see, there's the stand that we built. And I also said that we're going to build a stand for my computer. So as you can see, I don't have the styrofoam and glass keyboard tray anymore. So that looks a lot nicer. And my chair can actually push into my desk now, so I don't have to worry about leaving it out here. So, anyways, guys, yeah, that's the one thing that I would change. I would get all three of the same monitor. It kind of bugs me still, but I don't know. It's not worth changing until one of them craps out or whatever. Hopefully it's this one first, because this is the BenQ that I got. I don't really have any complaints about the monitor itself. It's a good monitor. I just wish I would have got the same, because I don't know, it kind of sticks out and... Like I said, I told you guys in the last one, I don't like the buttons on the side here. And it doesn't tilt as good. See how there's a gap right there? This one doesn't move around near as much as my Asus over here. Then I have the Logitech C920 camera up here. This is what most of my commentary videos, or whenever you see us in a square up at the top of the screen, that's what that's shot by. So this is a great little webcam. I definitely recommend it if you guys are going to have a setup like this. So keep an eye out for that. There's probably better Logitech cameras now. I got that one probably a year ago, maybe two. So, I mean, I'd always get the best stuff that you possibly can. Like, never downgrade yourself. If you can get something better, you might as well do it. So, see, I got some stuff on the bases here just for decoration. I got Star Wars stuff. I like Star Wars, so that's why. And then I got my shadow box. I actually made this. So I'm really proud of that too. Then I got my Hobo Gaming controllers down here. And here's the speakers. If you guys watched the last video, you saw that. These are Logitech speakers. They were $34. Came with the sub too. And I got my computer. I just got this this year. I was rolling with a laptop that I actually had right there and then I hooked it up to these two monitors. So it's a lot better with the PC. I definitely recommend getting a computer over a laptop if you have the choice. And I got the PS4 Pro down here. Now, I don't recommend the PS4 Pro. The only reason I got it was because I needed a one terabyte hard drive and my Black Ops 3 PS4 broke. So I probably wouldn't have wasted the money on the PS4 Pro if it wasn't for the one terabyte hard drive. I got my Night Gear, Netgear Nighthawk X6 up here. G Fuel Tower. My I actually made this in art class. It's a lantern, I put my candle in it. And all my hobo gaming stuff. I got my Yeti cup and then my hat here. And there's a plaque back here that I made a couple years ago. And I got this poster for Christmas this year. It's me and Ballin, the guy, the guy that runs the channel with me. Got my 3D printed hobo gaming logo. And you guys have definitely seen this if you've seen any of our other videos. This is my backdrop banner. I'm probably going to get a different one. But this is what we're rolling with right now. It's pretty cool. I've always had it in the background of my videos. Then my DX Racer. Don't know what I would do without this thing. I've sat in this chair for so many hours. And as you can see, I have a lot of Razer stuff. 
Now, I haven't really ever tried anything else, so I'm not going to say that I recommend Razer over anything else, because I've never tried anything, really, other than my friend has a Corsair mousepad, and I would definitely take that over this, because it's extended, and it was only $15, and this one alone was 35 So, we got a Razer Death Adder here. I like how Razer has the Chroma stuff. That's probably what I do get Razer for, because I like to customize things. So, I got my red and blue colors in here. Now this one isn't chroma, so this one can only be green. That kind of made me mad. But I've always wanted to upgrade from the blue snowball, but everybody tells me it's the same sound quality no matter what you upgrade to, so I've always just kept it anyways. But I don't know. I just would rather have probably an Audio Technica or the Blue Yeti at least because they look nicer, but I'm just going to roll with that for now because I don't do a whole lot of cut comms or anything like that that I use this for. And another thing is I do want to get a new camera. As you guys can probably tell by the quality and everything, I'm using a GoPro right now, so I don't really like that. I want to get a new camera eventually, but they're just really expensive and I don't have the money for it right now. And then down here we have my Elgato HD60. This is a great little game capture. It's what I've always used. I love it. So if you guys are going to get a game capture device, I recommend Elgato for sure. And we have my no scope glasses up here. And I have a ton of controllers, as you guys can see. Here's my 24 karat cold one that I made. And I have all my games on this little organizer down here. And as you guys know, the mini fridge. Got that stocked always. Got a couple of stickers and magnets on here. I think that one's a magnet, yeah. A couple of my drawings there. So, I mean, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, I guess I didn't tell you about my Astros here. I'm probably going to get a different headset eventually. I kind of, I don't know, these aren't too comfortable after wearing them for a long time. So, I'm going to try out the Turtle Beach Elite Pros next, probably for my headset. So, I don't know when that's going to be, but hopefully soon, because these ones have been hurting my head a lot lately. I think it's the head being there's not enough cushion or something. But anyways, we are going to upgrade from that. And I got my lamp up here. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for taking the time watching this. And leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And we'll catch you in the next one, guys. See ya.